Good morning. What a great audience. My name is Ansi Taurianen. I started a month ago at Ekaho as a, as a vice president of product management. I know you were all really expecting to see Mikko this morning. So, so it's set in the agenda that Mikko will be presenting. Sorry for disappointing you. Uh, so it will be me presenting and then Mikko will join me later on when doing the demos. So um, just a quick intro. I've been uh, in the mobile industry for 20 years. I've been building mobile networks. I'm, I'm very passionate about analytics and AI. Now, nowadays also Wi-Fi. Uh, this is actually my first presentation about Wi-Fi in general, so, so it's a very exciting moment for me. I also, I've activated my Twitter account. You can see the handle here. As of this morning, I had four followers. So, so, so don't expect a big social media presence. It's not there yet. But hopefully, hopefully we will be building it together in, in, in the future. Okay, so starting about harder tech and easier tools. So, so today I'm going to talk about one specific tool making Wi-Fi professionals' life easier. And, and that's about surveys. So, so just a quick, as a quick recap and give you a little bit on the background, um, this has been a continuous journey, and we've been building towards this for many, many years already. So, so it started in 2017 when we introduced the Sidekick, which still remains to be the most accurate measurement and diagnostics device for Wi-Fi networks. So the original purpose was to replace the, the old and clumsy dongles and, and built-in Wi-Fi adapters, and basically enable the um, survey functionality, for example, on a PC without any external antennas, basically just a, just a portable device on a shoulder. But at the same time, we also realized that you can actually build on, on this capability a lot. So, so you can also later on transform smartphones and tab tablets into, into professional grade Wi-Fi tools. So, so building on this, um, we introduced then the Connect. You, you probably remember this. This was not too far ago. This was six months ago in last April. So, so Connect was basically a software bundle leveraging the capabilities of, um, of the Sidekick. So, so it contained the survey application. So, so this was the first version that actually worked on an iPad. So really lightweight, easy to use application that you can easily carry with you. And that basically changed very dramatically the way how site surveys were done. It also included additional functionality like capture, so you could connect the, the collector packets and analyze them later on. But it also included the, the cloud functionality so that you can easily transfer your data and your files between the, between the users and between the devices. And, and already back then we made a promise that there will be more features to come. So we haven't seen the end of it, there is more actually we can get out of the sidekick. So, so many of you have seen this illustration. This is the longer term Wi-Fi evolution or survey evolution that we have, we have been building. On the left you see the poor, poor uh, Wi-Fi engineer with the not so portable device. And then moving on to our laptops, then with the sidekick, oh, sorry, moving on to laptops with dongles and all kind of antennas then moving on into, into a sidekick and, and laptop combination. And then you can see a significantly happier Wi-Fi engineer dancing with the tablet and with the sidekick. And now the latest evolution on the right-hand side is, is even, if possible, even cooler than that. So it may, may not be obvious, but this guy's actually doing moonwalking while doing a side survey. So that's why he's facing the other way around. So as you may have already guessed, we are, we are changing again how, how Wi-Fi surveys are being done. So, so we are releasing in two weeks, we are going to release a new version of Ekaho survey, which is both for iPad and iPhone. And, and since we are all friends here, this is confidential, right? We are not going to talk about this in the next two weeks, right? So, so the official launch is in 21st of November. That's when, we, that's when we have the webinar. But since, since we are such a good friends, I'm already talking about this today because it's such a cool thing. So 
We are introducing the new application, and the main features of that application are what we call autopilot surveys. It supports AP and a stick surveys. You can also add your own notes to, to access points uh, and discover them, and, and you can also adjust the AP location while, you, while you're doing the surveys. So these are among the most requested features for that, that we've been already, already um, discussing for a while. So let's talk a little bit about this um, survey for iPhone. So, so it's not really, it's, of course, there's a, there's a new really cool form factor. First of all, there's an the UI you use with your iPhone, you use it on a portrait mode. So it's actually really convenient to carry with. You, you carry it with only your one hand. And obviously the, the buttons and the controls are in a slightly different location than they were in the previous version. But this actually makes it a lot easier and more intuitive to use. And you may think that the display is way too small to, to see where you are going on a survey. But actually that's not that important. Because first of all, you can easily zoom in and move on the map. And second of all, because we are introducing a really cool new thing called autopilot survey. So it's not only about the new form factor and, and cool application. The really the big thing here is the way surveys are being done with the iP autopilot. So what it actually does is that it constantly measures the user's location. So it's basically running um, about 30 measurements per second. So every time you make even the slightest movement, it will notice it and it will basically take a new measurement on that. That means that you can actually walk much faster than in the past on the surveys. There's much less interaction with the survey device because you don't need to be clicking it constantly. That means that if there is something certain or sudden happening while you're doing a survey, you don't need to restart your surveys. You don't need to, you don't need to start from the scratch. It's actually pretty fault tolerant. And like I said, it's really easy to use. So, so even the people who haven't been doing it before, even myself, can, can actually do it without having a week of training. Believe it or not. That's how easy it is. So, telling you a little bit more about the technology behind it. We're actually using augmented reality. So, nobody said, ooh, why? <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're using augmented reality on this. So um, what it actually does is that we are using the, the iOS own camera. We are using the processors. We are using the motion detectors or the motion sensors to, to basically um, sense the environment. So we are constantly looking at the environment. And because of the AR kit built into iOS, we are able to actually automatically track very accurately the location of the survey. So that means that you are free to walk. You are free to moonwalk if you can. You can run, stop, turn, dance, whatever you want during the surveys, and you won't be screwing up your measurements. Yeah, you could even use it in your one hand while having your favorite beverage in your other hand. That's one of the use cases we've heard so far. So, without further ado, uh, sorry, one more slide. Please, Mikko, come on the slide, the side, uh, on the stand. So, the survey, the new version of survey is not only for iPhone, it's for both iPhone and iPad. And, and it's exactly the same version. There's a, there's a full feature parity, so obviously you need to download it separately to iPad, and you need to download it separately to iPhone, but they, there's full feature parity between them. Um, it's part of the Connect. So if you are among those lucky ones who have subscribed Ekahau Connect, it will be provided you free of charge. If you are not, I urge you to go ahead and subscribe because that's the way you can get your hands on it. That's the only way you can get your hands on this. And unfortunately, this is not an excuse to buy iPhone 11. It works on 6S and newer models. So, so it's backwards compatible. Okay, Mikko, you ready? We wanted to show you a couple of, of um, real-life scenarios on how it works. So how many of you have been doing site surveys in the past? Well, pretty much everyone. Okay, that's good. So Mikko, would you come here in the middle and show how the new iPhone 
works in, on a high level? Sure, absolutely. So, um, or actually, should we first start with the with the with these demos? What do you think? Okay, so let me explain briefly what what happens here. So here's a scenario where you are surveying a, a space where you have lots of doors, and as you know, in the past this used to be walk to the door, click, open the door, click, walk in, click, type of um, type of approach. I think we're saying about six to eight clicks per door. Right. Exactly. So, for example, when you when you want to enter a room, that's maybe four clicks when you need to do that. Then you do your survey in the room and then exit the uh, exit the room. So, in total, that's six to eight clicks. Yeah. And now, since you have the sidekick here, it's connected to your iPhone. You're holding it with with one hand, and you can basically the other hand you can do you can hold the mic. Exactly. Yeah. Or drink beer. <laughs> So, so in reality, how it would work then with the, with the new version of, of the um, survey is, is now recorded here. So, so here's the surveyor walking. There's no need to click further. So it's automatically tracking, right? Yeah, then I get to the door. I open the, do I open the door. <laughs> <laughs> get into the room, close the door, do my stuff and get out of the room yeah. without clicking on the map, not even once. And, and closing the door. You forgot to close the door. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you can see how accurate it is. The, the door is, what, 80 centimeters wide? And, and you can actually see almost, you can see on which side the door is being opened and on which side is being closed. So what is it, 20 centimeters in real life? Exactly. And it's, it's tracking all of that. So all of this was done without, so with only two taps on the map. So all the door, those, both of those doors were opened and closed without tapping on the map, not even once. Yeah, exactly. So then the second scenario, this, is hap this happens quite often as well. And, and you, pro oops, no, it's, okay. So, so you probably know this really well as, uh, it happens quite often, that's what I'm being told. I've never done this in, in real life, so I, I wouldn't know. But basically, when you're doing a survey, you decide a route where you're walking. So you decide the starting point and you decide the ending point, and then you try to walk with the constant speed towards that ending point. And every now and then, especially if you're doing this on a crowded places, there's a group of people that suddenly appear somewhere, and yeah, exactly like that. <laughs> and then you are forced to change your direction, you're forced to change your speed, you're, you are, you're basically forced to stop, and it either means that you have to be a hell of a clicker, on the screen, or you, or you lose the measurements for, for that, bit, that, that particular segment. Now how that works with the, with the new version of the, of the survey is, is illustrated here. So basically the surveyor is walking, walking again. Here you can by the, see the, you can by the way see how the, how the um, route is being adjusted constantly based on the, based on the measurements done by the device. And now the, the surveyor is, is uh, it's actually there. So it's, it's facing the crowd and now moving. I think it's Mikko, he went there a couple of extra circles and now he's actually survived through the crowd without losing his measurements, right? Yeah. And again, only one, one click. And then the third scenario was the, the famous old lady. Yeah, I'm sure everyone knows the situation. <laughs> what are you actually doing? So, so when, you, when you see a guy like that walking on your premises, it's, it's kind of suspicious, isn't it? So a so natural reaction is that you, you stop the person, you engage, you ask what are you doing, it looks interesting, can you explain me more? Is that on a high level how it works? Happens every time, I guess. <laughs> so, and, and that means that you either continue tapping for, for, for a couple of minutes or, again, you start from the scratch. And how that works with the, with the new version of, of survey is that here comes Mikko meeting the old lady. Stopping. Oh, she's going and see. Moon what are you doing? <laughs> Moonwalking, going backwards. Now talking, asking about the cat, the weather. And we're done and we can continue. Again, no, no clicks needed. So you can see in the reality this would have been, I don't know, 10 clicks. And, and now we actually do this without any interruptions. 
Yeah, so how many measurements was it per second like? 30, 30, 30 measurements, measurements per, per second. Seconds. Yep. So if you, if you really want to turn... Okay. You can still hear me? Yes. Was that done on purpose? <laughs> okay. So it's one of the practical jokes from Sam again. Now, um, if you turn this into, into an ROI, what it means is that you are able to walk how much? 30% faster than per earlier? It takes... Yeah, 30 seconds, 30% uh, 30 30 faster. So uh, during, a, during the one day, you probably save like an hour or so. Yeah, if, you, if you're surveying full day, you basically, if it takes you eight hours, now, now you can do it in five and a half, roughly. Now, it takes... Our measurements on the beta testing is that it's about 80% less clicks. So that means that there's less interaction with the, with the device. You can actually observe your surroundings. You can actually see where you're going. You're not walking into, into a ditch or anything like that. You can actually hold, you can use one hand, one hand to open doors or grab handrails, whatever. So, so it's a lot easier to use. It does the measurements for you and, and you can actually pay attention to what's happening around you. Now, if you look at the plain time saving, for example, in opening the doors, that's again quite substantial. So we are easily talking about 30-40% savings on compared to how surveys done in the past. If you look at the amount of free tries that are needed because, well, can be avoided because of the new version of the survey, that's again a new number. So if you can save 30 to 40% of your cost of doing surveys, it's actually pretty revolutionary, isn't it? And that's exactly what it is. So, so we have the facts to prove it and we have the videos. So today here, Mikko will be carrying this equipment with him most of the day, right? So, oh yeah, so throughout the whole day. Yeah, exactly, and the evening. Always. <laughs> so, so you can actually, uh, you can grab his sleeve. Nick will be here as well, uh, somewhere here. He's, he has, uh, I think he has another version as well. So if you want to see how it works on, 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 on real life uh, in, in doing these surveys, then, then feel free to ask us and, and we'll, we'll be happy to show you. Thank you.